Well, yeah, uh, Cal is going to have a rest day. He's not playing tonight. And uh, Norm Pilas has a turned ankle. He turned it the other night in, in the game, so he's not going to play. So uh, good opportunity for our young guys to play and um, get some minutes and, um, you know, for us to continue to try to work on some things we need to work on. You say Kyle at first? Yeah, Kyle, Kyle Lowry, yeah. Yeah, he's, you know, we didn't plan to play. We'll probably give a couple other guys games off as we go yeah. along. But the trick with that is, Ralph, is that, um, you know, we only have five games, so we got to be careful. You know, we want to kind of be trending toward how we want to play those last couple of games or definitely the last game. So we'll see. Uh, but uh, tonight, you know, it was kind of talked about it and wanted to give him some time off, give him tonight off. And Paul was pretty impressive the other night, man. Powell. Sure was. He did a good job. And, uh, you know, again, he's going to be a big part of what we do this year. And, um, you know, again, his his challenge is, you know, making sure he takes care of the ball and, and uh, you know, makes good decisions with the ball, whether to attack, shoot it, or pass it. And, uh, you know, that's that's his challenge. But he's, he's growing. He's worked his butt off all summer in L.A. this summer and up at Six o'clock out there, you know, fighting that traffic in LA in the summer. So yeah, I know. And so he, but he's, he, you know, his work is is really shown in, in training camp. Is it because do you think it's because he had so much success early driving the ball that he's sort of reluctant to do anything other now? Well, no, I don't think he's reluctant, Doug. I think he, he's the decision making. He's getting the respect of the league. Uh, before, you know, they, I think he kind of caught a lot of people off guard driving in there. And now all at once he gets there as a welcoming committee at the rim. So now he's got to make decisions whether to finish it or pass it or pull up or whatever it is. Those decisions are the kind of the toughest you have to make, especially when you attack the basket the way he does. You mentioned Wright has a... Um laser lens on him. Tell me what you won out of it. I thought he played pretty well the other night. He really did. He, uh, he, as far as passing the ball, making decisions, running the team, being vocal, uh, being that vocal leader when you have some veterans out there on the floor, uh, telling the guys where to go, what to do. Uh, those are the things that uh, he, he has to do when he's in there with the, with the veteran guys like Serge and Kyle and DeMar. And there's going to be opportunities for him to be in there with that group <clears throat> to run the team, sort of like the way we played Corey Joseph's last year. Is it tough for a guy like that, Dwayne, when he looks at the, the respect factor of guys like Serge and, and DeMar on the floor and he's entrusted to run things? How difficult is that for a young guy? It, it is. It's very difficult. So all at once you're telling guys where to go, what to do, and you're a young kid. Uh, and again, he's not a young kid. He's a four-year graduate of Utah, so he's a little bit older, more mature. But as, as, you know, that's he's got to come out of that shell. He, that's not really his personality. Uh, but it's a difficult thing for any young kid to do is to run run a veteran, you know, two veteran uh, all-stars on your team and tell them what to do and what you want to run and, and command it. And, uh, and at times not give them the ball. Exactly. At times not give them the ball when they call for right. it. So it was your decision. And he's done a good job. He's a natural. He's probably one of, one of our high IQ players uh, with length. So again, but it's the time, you know, this is his time. And, and also Fred Van Vliet does don't sleep on him either because he's really uh, a tough kid also. I think he's a, a miniature uh, Kyle Lowry. You know, when Lowry first come into the league, um, you know, Fred reminds me of him. What's the Hawaii experience been like for you and your club? It's been really good, Ralph. I, I think it's a chance for us to get away. I wish I could do, go blink my eyes three times and be back in Toronto. That's the that's the the catch. But you can't. There's nothing bad you can say about an experience in Hawaii. It's such a beautiful um, state and beautiful area. Beautiful the weather. Everything's here and. Um, you know, but it's a great chance for our guys to get here and bond and do a lot of team things together. 